good afternoon and happy 2020. 2020 is 2021. <gasps> it's over? For the moment. It's over! Happy 2021. Let's hope to goodness that 2021 is kinder to us than 2020. So let's start off 2021 with a bang. Remember last time when we were doing all the Kit Kats and we had apple pie Kit Kats? Well, this is apple pie the revenge. Ah! Jump scare. <laughs> Sorry. It's all good. So, in this corner, hailing from the great land of America, weighing in at a total of 220 calories per pack, we have the American version of Kit Kat apple pie. In a convenient yellow package. And in this corner, hailing from the land of the rising sun, in a Halloween spooky purple package, because reasons, weighing in at 65 kilocalories, um, because metric system, we have Halloween version of apple pie Kit Kats. So we have USA versus Japan. Which one's better? Who did it best? Who did it more accurate? Let's find out. First off, we'll be going with the homeland. Frankly, because I'm having a feeling that Japan's gonna win this one. Just a little bit biased, so we'll save the best for last, but I don't know, I could be wrong. Let's find out. Ah, there's that wonderful artificial smell. America, you've done it again. I don't know what it is, but everything American always seems to have that artificial flavor to it. I just, I don't get it. But I'm going to behave myself and only cut this in half because this is about the size of a Japanese one, so I'm going to keep things fair here. All right, so. So, so it, it, it's yellow. Yeah, it's, it's, it's yellow. Well, it's more skin tone, I guess, which is a little off-putting. Maybe that's the ice cream that's on top. Is This is an apple pie a la mode, apparently. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Uh, that's that's the, uh, the piece there. There's, there's the um, graham cracker colored looking filling inside for the, the wafer. So, here we go. Pretty pleasant. Just like the last time, because if I'm not mistaken, I believe we had this apple pie flavor the last time we were here for Kit Kat, so. It was pretty pleasant. There is a nice, it's a green apple flavor. Um, kind of like a green apple Jolly Rancher. Have you ever had those uh, apple pie, or apple, caramel apple suckers? They, they have the caramel inside and then the outside's all like the sour apple. kind of tastes like that. But then there's an aftertaste of the graham cracker, so you have like the crust. So you're tasting the apple and you're tasting the crust. A little bit of cinnamon in there too, but not overpowering, so. And artificialness. Yeah, there is, it's, it's the artificial apple flavor. It's the candy apple flavor. It's Jolly Rancher, it's the suckers. It's not like you're biting into a fresh crisp apple. You're biting into an apple flavored candy, which we're great at doing over here, what can I say? We master artificial very well. So, I've spent way too long rambling on about how we do things Kit Kat wise here in America. So, Japan, it's your turn. So cute. A little spooky ghost man here in his purple package. I don't know why it's Halloween inspired. I mean, because it's fall I, and apples come out in the fall. I guess so. Um, I. I mean, I guess I'm just, I can eat apple pie anytime. I mean, I know like pumpkin pie is usually during Christmas time around here and you have cherry pies and stuff like that or whatnot, but yeah, I guess that makes perfect sense. So it's all good. And of course, in typical- Is it melty? A little, not too bad. Of course, in typical Japanese fashion, you have the odd flavored or the odd colored deals here. So interestingly enough, the American apple pie Kit Kats. We're going for the, the color of the package. And in Japan, the color of the candy is going for the color of the package. So purple to purple and yellow to yellow. Interesting. So let's see how Japan does apple pie. 
A lot stronger than the uh, apple pie. There you can kind of smell the apple. Oh, that's... It smells like a scented candle. It's like if you had an apple pie scented candle. Wow, suddenly I'm transported to the mall in one of those Yankee candle stores. See how this goes. Yep. Way different. Like, not even same flavor profile. Like, here, you taste the artificial apple. Here, the apple sneaks up on you, and as you're chewing, builds and builds and builds. You don't taste the crust, you don't really taste the cinnamon, you just taste the apple. But it's subtle. Is there any artificialness to it? Not really. I mean... The way that Japan does fruit flavors and the way that America does fruit flavors are completely different. Like, there are certain notes that the cadence of a North American candy will hit when it's a fruit flavor. There are certain notes in a cadence that the Japanese candies will hit in their fruit flavors. I, for one, personally have always been a fan of the way Japan fruit flavors hit. I do like my American candies, but something about the way Japan does it is more appealing to me. Oh yeah! So, yeah, got, got our resident Kool-Aid man over there. So, if I have to pick a winner between America and Japan, I hate to sound like the biased I told you so guy, but Japan wins for me because it's the flavor profile. It tastes completely different than how the American one tastes. Americans taste artificial. It's like I bit into an apple-flavored Jolly Rancher that had some graham cracker and cinnamon mixed in with it. It went for the apple pie profile, but even the aftertaste of the Japanese Kit Kat, I taste like I just ate a slice of apple pie. I don't taste the artificial flavors built in to make it seem like I'm tasting a piece of apple pie. I feel like I just ate one. So, Japan, once again, you've blown my mind, but you've also proven that when it comes to your Kit Kat game, exactly, you better respect their <laughs> Kit Kat game. So, that's what I've got from here. My winner, and the winner, by knockout, the Japanese Halloween Edition Apple Pie Kit Kat. Bing, 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 bing. And the crowd goes wild. So I've been T-Rav Logs, and that's the way it was.